Good morning, everybody. And I know that you guys are probably aware that here a little more than a week, I start treatment, chemo. So we decided as a family that we're gonna go on a little adventure today. You guys know I love to be around animals. So Noah, his girlfriend, Gabby, myself, and Lori, we're hitting the road and we're gonna actually hit a couple zoos and spend the next day and a half kind of just having some fun on the road. Just some memories to make before the next stage of our life. So what do you say we say goodbye to our animals here, pack up, hit the road. Our first stop are seeing a bunch of cool animals at the Toledo Zoo. Toledo's about an hour and 15 minutes away from where we are. Uh, we're probably about 20 minutes away from the zoo now and I know I'm excited because I've actually never been to this zoo which is crazy to me and I've heard it's a really cool place but the largest crocodile in the country is at this zoo. It's a saltwater crocodile and I think it's like almost 19 foot or something. I mean I don't know exactly how big it is but it's a giant one. So I'm super excited about it. Lori is there anything you're excited about? I have no idea. Same as you. I've never been there so I guess I'm just excited to see it period and then I'll be surprised with what they have. <laughs> I've never been to Columbus, so I'm excited to go check out the Columbus Zoo. Yeah, I'm also I'm also excited to see the largest crocodile. And tomorrow I'm excited to potentially play with baby cheetahs again. We're not sure if they're there, but we used to play with them when I was younger, so I'm keeping my hopes up that we're able to play with some baby cheetahs tomorrow. And we made it to the Toledo Zoo. Interestingly enough, it says Toledo Zoo and Aquarium. I didn't realize there was an aquarium here. So that's an extra bonus. Hopefully it's still open because there's not a lot of people here and stuff like that. But uh, we are officially at the Toledo Zoo. It's not the most beautiful day for a zoo trip, is it? Uh, it's a little bit over cast but uh yeah. bad news tomorrow's even going to be worse what supposed to have thunderstorms but the good oh. news is is that i had a friend that worked at the toledo zoo head keeper for the reptiles for like 30 years but she just retired so we have no contacts here we tried to get in this didn't work out tomorrow i have a good friend at the columbus zoo so we have a golf cart that's going to take us all around the Woo. entire park so we're going to be in luxury tomorrow but today hey we're just hanging yeah. out at the zoo like normal people mom look at that gift that's a nice gift shop right there <laughs> that's nice oh dad bald eagle it is a bald eagle it's in the in the netting, in the aviary. Yeah, it was behind the log. Yeah, <laughs> that's huge. Supposed to be sealed. Oh, animal off exhibit. I've heard that a lot. White wolves. I know, our first mammals. Aren't we mammals too? Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> we had Big Bear Lake up in California and that got, actually got in with some white wolves like this. They look big, but they're like twice the size of Zeus. Oh yeah, no, I can tell for sure. <laughs> And they're like this tall. They'll, they'll like almost look you in the eye. It's absolutely incredible. That's cute. They look like they want to be cuddled. Just gives you an idea, you know, the size. You see the difference between a dog and a wolf. You know, it's like twice the size. It's crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's see what we're working with. Polar bear. Polar bear. I was going to say. No. Exhibit. Animals off exhibit. <laughs> no. Okay, that's two, two, two. two big exhibits, two animals off exhibit. <laughs> This is it, guys. Yeah. We came all this way for this. <laughs> Gotta play with the lions. This is what we're telling you about, Gabby. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah. You know what's kind of funny is that I think this is the second time in the last like 30 years I actually paid to get into a zoo and nothing's on exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cheetah. There's two cheetahs. There are cheetahs. Look at it. Oh, that is a cheetah. I love cheetahs. It was my first tattoo I ever got, remember? It was a cheetah. Really? Yep, and uh, I love it. There's a chance that tomorrow, if they have baby cheetahs at the, the Columbus Zoo, we'll be able to actually interact with them. But, you know, they may not have them, you know, but they have a lot of cheetahs there. And I've known a bunch of their cheetahs since they were little cubs. Uh, I'll at least get a chance to see a bunch of them. But, wow, look at how amazing they are. It's hard to see, but... Look at it. It's doing the unique... Beautiful. That alone was worth admission for me. Just to see that is incredible. I drive all this way and pay the money just to see the cheetah walk by me any day of the week. There's camels. There's camels. There's Watusi. There's Watusi. Whoa. Look at the camels chasing the the camels. Oh my goodness. Let's get closer. Oh, it's closed off. Let's see if we can get in. Everything is closed. This is the indoor draft viewing. Price. I'm gonna ask for a discount. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. What? Oh. Is that it? Is that no, no, that's not it. Is that, real? that is a crocodile, though. No, there's no way. It's not even real, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does look real. That's why these things are so dangerous in the wild. Did you know, Gabby, that more people are killed from hippopotamus than any other 
animal in Africa. Are you making that up? I swear to God, it's look the most the, dangerous animal that's, in the I mean, the I head. know, but like how often do you actually encounter a hippo? Well, they chase you down. More often. It's the, most <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. the only thing that kills more people in Africa are mosquitoes. mosquitoes then a hippo. Mosquitoes hip, and hippo. Mosquitoes and then hippo. Hmm. Well, there's the Watusis, you see them? Let's see if there's any indoor giraffes. So. How much trouble do you think we could we'd get in if we just talk to fence? This is the best viewing window I've ever seen for a giraffe. Giraffe! This is really... This is it? That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Whose poop is that? I think that's giraffe poop, honestly. Ostrich! Oh that's a fun game. That's giraffe right here. It's yeah, giraffe. Giraffes are pellets? Okay. Oh, I was is, close, though. So is this going to be all African rhino? Wait, wait. I know. Let me see here. It's going to be a big clump. This is probably rhino. Ooh! Oh. Okay, now this is a little softer, maybe a vegetarian diet. Uh, maybe an antelope or something? Oh, lion! Lion poop! Yeah, it's so off, that's not vegetarian no, at all. No. <laughs> what do you think that is? Don't open it, you have to guess. Does it give you a list? No. no. What have we seen so far? A uh, cheetah. Damn. Elephant. That's a small. Listen, that's small. I'm gonna just say my dogs do bigger craps than this. <laughs> so well, that's, when you see an actual. That's just a little. An elephant's see? like this. Like this is poop. my backyard. <laughs> right here. Yeah, no, elephant's more like this. Yeah. All right, one last one. Cheetah. Hyena. Hyena. Dog-like, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at. There's Definitely. even little kids saying hi to us. Oh, there's a, another wolf. No. Over here, running. Look at. Where? Where? Oh! Are we going back the same way we came? Yeah. Yes. Darn that was it. it. That, no, that's not the... That, <laughs> I think we got to go the other way. No, because the, we have to cross a bridge. We would cross a bridge? We have to cross a bridge across the street because... Really? That that's was, house is over there. And they put no part zoo. of a zoo over there. <laughs> I don't know. Wolves! Wolves! You want one of those, right, Laurie? Yeah. Okay, that was it. There we go, Gabby. More I'm interaction. Here, okay. Get in here. This is what we it's paid so for. Cute. Oh, they were oh. so cute. Best part about those, they never grow up. <laughs> and they don't bite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the side of your rock. Oh, okay. So we're going to take the bridge across the whole rest of the zoo, which okay. is. Do they have wolves over there? You know, I had to run and grab another battery for the camera in the car because he forgot it. We're almost dead, so we have a cassowary crossing here. Cassowaries come from Australia, typically north Queensland. Beautiful birds, almost like ostrich, emu-like stuff like that, but very, very dangerous. I'm thinking this weather, probably not out, but let's go ahead and take a look. Yeah, no cassowaries. There's going to be some good animals at the zoo at some point. There's one right there. Actually, I have a tattoo of one on my arm because I love cassowaries. No cassowaries today. All right, we got an aviary. There's got to be stuff in the aviary, right? It's indoors. It's got to be stuff. <laughs> if it's locked, I'm going to scream. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, it's open. Good doors. Beautiful. A bit of um, the one aquarium we went in Dallas. Oh, uh, yeah, Dallas World Aquarium. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So the aviary is actually pretty nice, to be honest with you. It's uh, very well themed, really beautiful. I mean, look at how amazing with water features, really cool birds. A toucan maybe in here, but I can't find it. But uh, oh yeah, up top, we got a couple. Still pretty nice. It's nice to get out of the weather for a minute too. It's a little bit chilly outside right now. Okay, that's it for the aviary. Actually, there's some more of the aviary. Didn't know this room existed. So this is just like a free flight place. Cool. So you can just walk in here and obviously there's some parakeet budgies all over the place over here. You got some cockatiels over here up in the tree. These guys can just fly wherever they want, which is pretty cool. Look at that purple and white one. Wish I knew more about birds. Oh, African gray over here. Oh yeah, well Cameron. He's got a mustache. Got the two-toed sloth. Like Drogo. Is there another one in there? Yeah. In the box. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, you see the feet? Yeah. yeah. That was actually cooler than I expected. Yeah. yeah that yeah. wasn't bad. That was they cool. They had a lot of cool birds. Yeah, so that was cool. That was a, a good one. We got the primate forest up here. Is that where we're going? I think we stick to the right and then we walk all the way around. <laughs> what do we got going on, man? <laughs> These mon monkeys have mustaches. I know, they're <laughs> mustache monkeys. That is cameras. amazing. Beautiful, man. Even the mother has a mustache. I know, I know. <laughs> Primate forest. 
Let's go. But I don't see any primates. I think the problem is, is that zoos during, like outdoor zoos during the winter just aren't, isn't, you know, in a colder climate. Most of the stuff's probably indoors because it can't really be outside. So no, I'm not really blaming the zoo as much as the time of the year, you know. There are some cold weather primates, but a lot of them are warm weather and they're probably inside. So maybe if there's an indoor area for primates, we'll probably end up being able to see some. Nope. Keep walking. Dang it, we don't get to see any primate. Oh, wait. The red pandas. I got to play with some red pandas at the Cincinnati Zoo. Yeah. Unbelievably cute. Hey, we're in Ohio, let's go. We could. <laughs> And look at all of them. They got a bunch of red. Oh, these are red rough lemurs. These aren't red pandas. These are red rough lemurs. It's my favorite of the lemurs for sure. Remember Steve? Yeah, Steve from Exotics. Yeah, Extreme Exotics. Absolutely. I think they look big angry as well. Yeah, because of their eyes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They just think the face. They just look like red. But they're really cool. Those are the chillest by far. So that's cool. Red pandas were cool too. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't very good. <laughs> okay, I'm getting seasick now. How are you gonna get down? I'm not. <laughs> this is where it ends. <laughs> you are Matilda. <laughs> is that how Matilda acts? Right? Yeah, climbing up the wall. Penguins, guys. Oh, penguin bellies. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> penguin butts. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> Black-footed penguins, they call them jackass penguins. I'm trying to swear on the wall. <laughs> no, it's true. The butts weren't penguins. <laughs> oh no. Let's what see. What are those? I have no idea. Looks like a penguin bird, but penguins are birds, so. I think they're a type of duck, no? Look at the black and white one in the back. This is the aquaria. <laughs> so excited about that. Welcome to Aquaria. To Aquaria. Mom, <laughs> where'd you go? Went to employees only. This is my up. <laughs> you went to employees only? Yeah. Cow nose rays. Got some reef sharks. Whoa. Dad, look at the size of this ray. Whoa. That's, That's mammoth. Cool. Oh, here's a bonnet head. Those are bonnet head. That's a bonnet head shark right there. This is actually pretty cool, man. I was like, oh, Arapaima, check this out. Oh my gosh, look at this Arapaima. Whoa. Look at this guy. Look at Fly River turtles, Arapaima, red tailed catfish, got some giant paku. Oh my god, the size these of are that. Cool. The one that we have over at Ohio Fish Rescue could get this big. That is massive. That's. that's what is this thing? That's an Arapaima. Mm. Look at that, guys. The ceiling. Oh, we can see the shark in here. Big old shark. Change the light. Gabby, change the light. Oh, Ooh. that's so cool. Ooh. That's cool. That's dope. Four species of stingray, one species of shark, one species of bony fish, one species of horseshoe crab, one species of snail. What shall we touch? Propello ray. Beautiful. Nice. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh. I love cow no rays. <laughs> this is so cool. Yep. She was only born around Christmas. I don't know about you, but these are gotta be my favorite. Yeah, they're super cool. Wow. Gabby, okay, we got your favorite tank right here. What? <laughs> It's so annoying. <laughs> That's so annoying. Oh, wow. It's massive. Is this what we touched? Yeah, but I think this one would kill, kill us. Yeah, I mean, it's fine, but. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiration. I caught one of these before. One of what? This, but what it was it? way bigger. No. Sturgeon. Yeah. Way mine, mine was way bigger than that. I got Master Angler badge. Mm. Record of the year. This is way cooler than anyone's given this credit for. Look it. It's like starting from a cell and then it's that's like showing out like evolution. how it's spread evolutionary wise that is cool that's really cool it is really cool wow the other exact company says that within three years they're going to re resurrect woolly mammoths they also said they're going to do dodo birds yeah. so it's uh it's pretty cool this is still a size of moose oh my god god oh my god <laughs> 
Look at this giant cane toad over there. <laughs> Can you imagine if there'd really been cane toads this big? That'd be the scariest thing. I would never go outside. Because they would 100% eat you. Yeah. Oh. oh, look at the morel mushroom. Whoa. Oh, got the red belly. Uh, uh, oh, that spider. <laughs> That's one big frog. Helicopter. Oh, oh yeah. Salamander, roly poly, isopod. Cool, man. It is really cool. There's some more freshwater fish. Where is it? Oh, Mom's getting a selfie. Here it is. Look at this, guys. Oh my god. My dream animal, Komodo dragon. The size of the head, the, the girthiness of those paws. I mean, wow. I always thought one day I'd get one. I really did. I thought that one, somehow I would figure out how to get one. Come and say hi. Come and say hi. Look at him. Look at him. Hey buddy. Just sit down there and just chill with me. <laughs> How cool is that? That is freaking awesome, man. He just came over, plopped right down. He's looking at me just as much as I'm looking at him, just thinking like, what are you doing? You know? Wow. So majestic, man. Thick insects are so cool. I love them to death. So, you know, it started a little slow here at the Toledo Zoo, but the aquarium and then this museum thing definitely picked up. I mean, this this place is a lot cooler than I was expecting. And we haven't even been to the reptile house to see that giant crocodile yet. We found it, the reptile house. This is where I believe the crocodile that I've been wanting to see since I've heard about it. It was probably like 10 years ago they brought it in from Australia. Like I said, it was supposed to be the largest crocodile in the, the country that we're in. And I think they paid like $100,000 just to ship it from Australia here. So again, I've never seen it before. There it is. I think it's gonna be even bigger than that. I'm not Green sure, like Ranger. I said, I think it's like almost, <laughs> it's like 18 something or almost 19 foot. It's a giant crocodile. Saltwater crocodile that way. Oh my goodness, dad. Oh my gosh, it's a <laughs> reticulated python. <laughs> python, got the oh. emerald tree bow in here. Look how beautiful that emerald is right there. Oh God, I could do a viper to see Ooh, if I can yeah. Ambush. I mean, that's just look at that's what when you see the gaboon vipers, you don't appreciate the fact that when there's leaf litter, they just blend right in. If you were walking in St. Lucia or something like that down in South Africa, you would just be walking, you wouldn't even think of it. And that big head looks like a giant leaf just sitting there. I can't even find the head. The head is over here. See his eyes? I wish I actually wish I could. I don't see his, don't eyes. See his no, eyes. No, I like actually don't really? see his eyes. So right there, see straight ahead, right past that leaf. What? There's the a green lot leaf. of leaves. Past the green leaf. The, oh, okay. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, that Think thing would get that. me. Think about that. If you step out, that thing has an inch and a half fang, the largest fang of any snake on the planet, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. terrible venom. So. And wow. where are these located at? Well, they'll come from either West Africa or South Africa. So I can't go there. Can't even see them here. <laughs> <laughs> Decent size anaconda too. You know, it's a pretty nice one. Getting close to ivy size. Yeah, it's not far off really. I mean, maybe just about maybe I'd, I'd say this is maybe 70 pounds, 80 pounds at the most. Ivy's are like 110. Pretty close. That's a big snake. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. What I've been waiting for. Where is it at? Where is it at? Don't tell me it's not here. There it is. There it is right in the back. See it in the back? You know, it doesn't look as big as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger, to be honest with you. That to me doesn't look like 18 foot long. It doesn't look as big as the one in uh, Florida. Yeah, Not you're the right. Lighthouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's at St. Augustine's. St. Augustine's definitely looks bigger. Even Kyle at Crocodile Kyle's has oh, some that yeah. look bigger. But hey, listen, still cool. I tell you, the reptile house, really impressive. I mean, their displays, their theming, the animals look great. I mean, this is nice. I mean, this is a really nice reptile house. It's well worth coming to Toledo just for the reptile house, to be honest with you. This is cool, but I wish that guy would come out so we could actually see how big he is. Lori, what do you think of the gift shop? Nice, it's very big. It's big, it's impressive. The zoo is great. So that ends our first day of zoo travel. Tomorrow's gonna be way cooler even more because we got our friend showing us around the Columbus Zoo doing a bunch of stuff that normal people can't do. So it's gonna be really good. Make sure you tune in to that tomorrow. As for now, we're out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone and I promise we'll probably end up being able to see some. Nope.